God's Spirit is in my heart. He's called me and set me apart. Here's what I have to do. Here's what I have to do. He sent me to give the good news to the poor. Tell prisoners that they are prisoners no more. To blind people that they can see. And set the downtrodden free. And go tell everyone the news that the kingdom of God has come. And go tell everyone that news that God's kingdom has come. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you all and with your spirit. And you're all welcome here today, no matter what part of the world, what race, what creed, what problem you have, don't be afraid. Join in. Christ came to save sinners from that Now today, it's all about love. And very much the Pope Francis emphasizes you have to have compassion. You don't go by a rule book. You must show compassion to people. And if you're not doing that, you're not Christian, and be Christian is what the original apostles were about. Uh, they were called presbyters, if I use the word bishop, they weren't bishops in later years, then were all signed, but presbyters and elders in the early church. So it's a very simple church, so I always remember that. Now today it's about love, and uh, again it's about love and compassion, and they emphasised the first two commands. I something's right down things here, and. Uh, once today it's a, we're emphasizing yes the first two commandments uh, no we're not harassed the two main commandments you sum them up and we'll, you hear all of it later so we start off with now we've all uh, sins as we say around here a lock of sins that means we have sins we've all sinned so now to prepare ourselves for the sacred mysteries now let us call to mind these sins I confess to almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters and greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words what none would appear to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the blessed Mary of a virgin, all the innocent and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of God. May Almighty God of mercy to forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Christ of mercy, Christ of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory be to God, glory in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O oh God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lamb, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Messiah, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Uh, the opening prayer, our opening collect, is this. Let us pray for the strength to do God's will. Almighty and everlasting God, strengthen our faith, hope and love. May we do with loving hearts what you ask of us and come to share the life you promise. We ask this for Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, who lives and reigns with you in the union of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading today is from the book of Exodus. Because today, I should have said it, uh, year A. And it's uh, the 30th Sunday of the year. So we'll go ahead. In Exodus we hear that if you are harsh with the widow or with the orphan, my anger will have that will go get flare against you. So we've all heard in the entrance hymn of course, God's Spirit's in my heart. And what he had to do 
if you want to correct it over the words you can. So now the first reading goes like this. The Lord said to Moses, Tell the sons of Israel this. You must not molest a stranger or oppress him, for you lived as strangers in the land of Egypt. You must not be harsh with the widow or the orphan. If you are harsh with them, then they will surely cry out to me and be sure I shall hear their cry. My anger will flare and I shall kill you with the sword. Your own wives will be widows, your own children orphans. If you lend money to any of my people, to any poor man among them, you must not play the insurer with him. You must not demand interest from him. If you take another's cloak as a pledge, you must give it back to him before sunset. It is all the covering he has. It is his cloak. He wraps his body in. What else would he sleep in? If he cries to me, I will listen, for I am full of pity. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Response to the it is, I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. My rock, my fortress, my saviour. My God is the rock where I take refuge. My shield, my mighty help. My stronghold. The Lord is worthy of all praise. When I call, I am saved from my foes. I love you, Lord, my strength. Long life to the Lord, my rock. Praise to be the God who saves me. He has given great victories his king and shown his love for his, his anointed I love you Lord my strength second reading from the letter from Paul to the people in Thessalonica Thessalonians uh, and it goes like the, the, it says that the break he broke with idolatry and became servants of God so you are now waiting to be a son, he tells them. You observed the sort of life we lived when we were with you, which was for your instruction, and you were led to become imitators of us and of the Lord, and it was with the joy of the Holy Spirit that you took to the gospel in despite of the great opposition all around you. This has made you the great example to all believers in Macedonia and Achaia, since it was from you that the word of the Lord started to spread, and not only throughout Macedonia and Achaia, for the news of your faith in God spread everywhere. We do not need to tell the people about it. Other people tell us how we started the work along with you, how you broke with idolatry when you were converted to God and became servants of the re real living God and how you are now waiting for Jesus, the Son whom he raised from the dead to come from heaven to save us from the retribution which is coming. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'm going to sing them in. Uh, stand now for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Open our heart, O God, to accept the word of your Son. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel 
according to St. Matthew. Now this gospel is for everybody, no matter who you are, where you are, or what you are. So you must love the Lord your God and your neighbour as yourself. I'm always in this as weeks. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they got together and to disconcert him, one of them put a question, Master, which is the greatest commandment of the law? Jesus said, You must love your Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment, he says. The second resembles it, but you must love your neighbour as yourself. And these two commandments hang the whole law of the prophets also. The Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's a great message today. As I'm friendly hinting this stuff. I always came from A to Z, unfortunately. And I've been hinting this a long time. You don't need books of uh, canon law, which section to refer to when you're in a crisis. You show mercy, because Jesus did. You no know, matter what reading you read, you'll hear he showed mercy. So what the main emphasis today is you love God with all your heart and your soul, some of the commandments, and you love your neighbour as yourself. But I summed that up, if you love earth, you've done the whole lot. So, what are we doing about it? Well, let's see, I've took a few notes to try and make the sermon a bit longer. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, all the texts today, if you read them and think about them, they, uh, it's a clear, practical principle, loving God. And it involves doing practical injustice in the world. But even our superficial uh, uh, Catholic society don't do that. You hear politicians saying, for example, the lobby and they're doing this for the benefit of the, and you find they're only doing it for the benefit of the pocket. And they don't care what party they are, most of them seem to be doing that. People in business too, that they have to make money, they're not worried about need in general. Some do, but uh, so political and uh, economic life, you know what that means, business with money, uh, it's ruled by values as from those of gospel. And greed is fierce, as all businesses now, it's not about if you're sick or that. It's a, 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 a deep down, they're all there for profit maximization. And a lot of ordinary people do put their money on investments. They're looking for profit maximization. So, uh, are we asking the question are we coming closer to paganism uh, than uh, Christianity? Greece, greed, desire. For power and profit can be seen as in the daily papers, no matter where you go, there's a factory chosen, no greed, they're using people, they capitalize them, exploiting people. I see capitalism as a form of exploitation, but I don't know what's the, the best system to work. So, we are closer to paganism than we imagine, if you think about it. and. Uh, Today, no less than the world is hostile to what Jesus represents. And it's hard to take a good stand in even important issues uh, of justice and compassion. We see that with the government, what they're doing, and it's more or less what votes or what's going on is to do with values. Uh, mentally health patients well, won't be top of the list, certainly. I'm chairman of a, a mental health uh, impro. And I know the score, which this year's what's going on, and you all know it, you think. So, a Lord shows love and genuine love. Now, what genuine love isn't hugging and kissing, it's doing things for people and not looking for a return. Uh, a bit, uh, you're trying to work on the same as yourself and seeing that person's okay. As we said in the hymn, God Spirit's in My Heart, mm, you come to help the poor and the people. It's, Disadvantage not shove them down, which in this society people love shoving you down uh, if you think you're getting up a bit. So, uh, 
the, the second commandment about love could be by reflecting on how we love ourselves. If you don't love yourself, as my brother Kevin says, he's a counsellor, and if you don't love yourself, you won't love anybody. You, you don't neglect yourself. You love the neighbour as yourself. You can only do what you can do. Uh, it's impossible to love your neighbour as yourself if you don't love uh, yourself. Uh, love the other only becomes possible if we have or can grow into a healthy, same self uh, appreciation. Think about that one. And if we have, we can grow into a healthy, same level of self appreciation. Now, this is a sound psychological idea which should be mentioned in all churches, even though Christians love transcends all the transcendent uh, values of psychology are going to it. Don't want to complicate you now too much. Try and keep her as simple as we can. It's an ideal in this example of Christ himself, who also commitment to justice for the poor. He died on that cross, one of us who would do that. Jesus Christ, our Saviour, our Demo. In recent years we have uh, seen a big change in the increasing numbers of immigrants coming to this country and uh, live among us and I are in uh, Ireland and other parts of the world too and we have moved from a, a mono, well now uh, not a, a one culture in Ireland like it used to be years it's a monoculture, multicultural, multi-faith society, multi-racial. So today's readings invite us to reflect on how we will receive these strangers. Make them uh, feel at home in our society, or in our church, for example, or in our, our assembly. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me, Jesus says. They are distinct from us and others, different from us. The same birds of a feather flock together, but that's true. <laughs> I find that true. Gamblers will stick together and people that's in drugs stick together and they, they don't keep, uh, they, they generally don't tell other people they know what they're doing. Football people stick together. So there's all different uh, divisions you can make in society. Travellers can uh, even try to divide themselves. Lordship uh, in Paris, I, I noticed when I was a young lad uh, that there was, uh, I'm still a young lad by the way, uh, but Lurgan and Lordship there's a river down at our place in Bilurgan and uh, it used to be a division. You had one side of it and they'd fight and kill other. But there was different politics. There was the dominant politics probably with Fine Gael in Bilurgan and Fianna Fáil in uh, the other side of the fence, Lordship. So the birds of the feathers stick together. You know all that yourself. And can you, uh, in traditions in that culture, you certain cultural traditions and you must respect other people. Now I did find in Ireland that uh, certain cultures want to dominate, so you can't do that. It's, it's just a danger when you come multicultural, multi-faith, you have a lot of uh, problems, you can't do this, you can't do that, but you don't believe them. I believe that actually we're better off letting cultures live the way they want to and visit us. But that's not uh, practical, I'm told. So in a similar way, the Spirit of God is at work in our lives it prompts us to connect with those who are different from us and with the work of that, as well as those who are like us. So you can treat everybody equal, like a Muslim law is trying to do that. But there's an awful lot come in that exploit the situation and that annoys people. But when you get annoyed with people, you're only worrying yourself. As my brother again says, if you get annoyed, you know, you're only making the, the, the on yourself. Live and let's live because you're not going to solve it and only give yourself ulcers or something like that. So the one who can find strains can reveal the Lord to us in surprising ways. We find them strains, he can show the Lord in different ways, different cultures can do church for you. I had an uncle once made a fortune and uh, he bought a Jew man an ice cream and the Jew man 
couldn't understand it. And he went into the motor trade, and he had the biggest garage in the north of England way back in, in the mid 50s. So, the one we find initially strange can reveal the Lord to us in surprising ways. So, uh, well, it shows you what an ice cream done. He got an awful lot of advice from that Jew man in, in the motor trade. So, we pray this morning for a greater openness to the many ways the Lord comes to us in life. And it's the 30th Sunday of the year this Mass is for. The 5th of November, believe it. Time's flying. So God bless you all anyhow. Uh, you'll be thinking soon of, uh, I don't know what you'll be thinking of, Halloween over now, and you'll be soon getting ready for uh, Advent the lead up to Christmas. So God bless the whole lot of you and enjoy yourself if you're going on the ferry in Green Ore or any ferry. And be careful on the roads because they're dead dangerous. And if you think don't drive. <laughs> now would you please all stand. We're going to recite the Nicene Creed. If you can't stand, we'll uh, 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 anyway you're not well it won't be able to stand. So I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, he was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now you can all sit down and relax as you think of the prayers of the faithful. Now, anyone who's asked me for prayer, forgot the name, it's remembered because I asked Jesus. He's our master in memory. So don't think they're not being prayed for, but you must participate yourself. The Lord has worked marvels for us, as we know. So we bring forward our prayers uh, with good confidence. For all who suffer in mind and body or spirit, psychologically or physically, if you want to be technical, that they may experience the healing power of Christ. Lord hears, our great hears. And for all those who have problems with the sight and health, any understanding that will be given to them, Lord hears, our great hears. And for the people who beg in the streets, same community people, maybe they're addicted, it's not their own fault, they've got caught in something. Addiction is not an easy thing to get out of. For those people that beg in the streets or on towns and cities, that they may experience kindness where possible. Lord hear us, Lord great to hear us. And for all remembering, as the clock went back and the evenings let <clears throat> they may be made safe on the roads and at home in our ears, our great ears. And for our young people and their teachers, lecturers, that their midterm break will bring them a new enthusiasm in our ears, our great ears. For all those who have died, especially Christina Larkin from Greenore and uh, Brenda Dolan from Valley McCallot and Ravensdale, the recently deceased, that they may have the reward of their neighbours in heaven. Lord here, so grace to hear I know the important bit for a lot of you is to be getting on, we pray for this, pray for that one, pray for the other. We're going to have a quiet moment for our prayers and our needs. So we have James Perry with depression and sadness and uh, his brother who can't work for 10 years. He's, he's badly disabled and also his mammy who has osteoporosis on her knees. I would like to pray for 
Caroline and in the dark also. Remember you, Caroline is suffering from evil people. And for all those on the internet that make evil statements about people, they come out, it's, not, it's just hearsay. It's desperate when you read it. You get it on YouTube too, for certain people. You have to look at everything and assess it. What's it about? And why is it there? So now, just make your own petitions now. I imagine Son of Jesus. And we want them now to all think for a minute. In silent prayer. Lord, hear us. O oh Lord, we rejoice in your marvellous kindness and bring forward all our needs, entrusting them to you with faith and confidence. Through Jesus Christ, the Lord, amen. I'm going to move on now with the Mass. They have to ignite. Match, come on, I've been a little late. Sweetheart of Jesus, bond of love and mercy, today we call thy blessing to implore. Oh, touch your hearts, so cold and so and graceful, and make them, Lord, thine own forever more. Sweetheart of Jesus, we implore oh make us love thee more and more blessed in our god of all creation for your goodness we receive the bread we offer you through the earth and work with hands to comfort the bread of life let's be god forever in the mystery of the water and wine we come to share the divinity of christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity and bless of you, Lord God of all creation. For true your goodness, we've received the wine we have for you. Fruit of wine, work for human hands, it comes to bread for drink. Blessed be God forever. Spirit and a contrite heart, who will we accept you, Lord, and may receive a sacrifice inside of this day, be pleasing to you, Lord. And of course, you're going to wash me from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours are acceptable to God the Mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the hands of the priest and the of his name for good and for the good of all his holy church. Prayer over the gifts. Lord God of power and might, receive the gifts we offer and let our service give you glory. Yes, this to Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, folks, and with your spirit. And the Eucharistic prayer we're going to do today now is going to be number two. And lift up your hearts. We devote to the Lord. We give thanks to the Lord God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
When your children sinned and wandered far from your friendship, you reunited them with yourself through the blood of your Son and the power of the Holy Spirit. You gathered them into your church, be with you as Father and Lord, with whom your Son and the Holy Spirit, you called them to be your people, to praise your wisdom in all your, your works. You make them the body of Christ and in the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. In our joy we sing to your glory with all the choirs of angels in heaven. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth is full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is thee. Come into the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Your holy indeed, the Lord, the fountain of all the holiness, make therefore these gifts we pray by sending down upon them the spirit like the Jew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of the Son of Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus Christ was betrayed, he himself took bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which poured out for you and for many for the goodness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim our death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Given thanks that you've held his word to be in your presence and minister to you. How many we pray that we're taken to the body and blood of Christ, we will be gathered one into the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis of Pope, Michael the Patriarch, and me, a bishop, and all the bishops and clergy. Now, remember the day I'm putting this prayer in because your servant Christina from Green Ore, originally from the village here, just lives a mile and I walk it out of it, came you called today, and Brenda has also been called. From this word to yourself. Grant that Christina and Brenda, who united with your son in a deathly case, may also become one in the resurrection. And of course, not to forget our brothers and sisters uh, who have uh, fallen asleep in the hope of a uh, resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Jesus. Welcome into the light of your face, of mercy, is all we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostle and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co heirs of eternal life and to praise and glorify you to your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, through, through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And now, at the Saviour's command, and form me divine teaching, we recite. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be the name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace you grant peace in the days. By the help of your mercy, we be all free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of the Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace to leave you and peace to give you. Look not for sin for the faithful church, and grace to grant of peace and unity in accordance with your will, lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, no matter who you are, where you are, what you are, any creed race.
Peace be with you. I win this first. And we just turn down the lights. Peace is turned down. And the main body might bring the hand to those who come see it. Nam God you dig with the sins of the word of mercy. Nam God you dig with the sins of the word of mercy. Nam God you dig with the sins of the word grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold who takes away the sins of the world, happy those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ, body of Christ, hands on the chest, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, Joseph, body of Christ, body of Christ. Body of Christ. O sovereign, most holy, O sovereign divine, all praise and thanksgiving be every moment thine. Thus past the lips is food, O Lord, may we possess some food of heart to be given us in the time of healing for eternity. O sovereign, most holy, O sovereign divine, all praise and thanks given be every moment thine. We will rejoice at the victory of God and make our boast in his great name. Christ loved us and gave himself up for a fragrant offering to God. Ah, Sister Christ, the Lord, amen. Let us pray. The Lord be with you. Bring to a perfection within us the communion we share in this sacrament. Our celebration have an effect in our lives, and may this celebration have an effect in our lives. As is Christ and all men. The Lord be with you, everybody, and with the Spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Now remember, folks, to love the neighbour as yourself, and get rid of that greed if you can, because. When you go into the grave, you'll be judged. Now we're going to sing Faith of Our Fathers. <laughs>
keep our country fast to thee. And in the truth that comes from God, oh, we shall prosper and be free. Thank you very much, everybody, and God bless you all.